the underserved need to create more robust and open dialogue, to increase awareness, to eliminate, not diminish, but eliminate stigma, and very, very importantly, of course, to improve the level of support for all who are combating this illness. My name is Shannon Patton and I am the HR and Wellness Specialist for the Cooperators here in Regina. I've been involved with Ride Don't Hide for the past three years when the Cooperators first became the Platinum Sponsor for the uh, Regina Ride and subsequently for the Halton Ride. Our staff across Canada are actually encouraged to participate in the Ride Don't Hide as a rider, as a volunteer or even just by helping out and supporting and becoming a fundraiser. We created a national cooperators team page so that no matter where people were, no matter what locations or communities they were in, they were able to participate in this ride and get involved. With one in five Canadians being affected by mental illness, that number really has an impact on our staff as well. Workplace mental health is very important to us as an employer, an insurer, and a group benefits provider. We really do believe in trying to lead by example, so therefore we're constantly looking at ways to create and maintain both healthy and supportive work environments for our staff. This is Sherelle. Um, Sherelle's an employee at the Cooperators, and maybe Sherelle you can tell us why you got involved or you're getting involved with the Ride Don't Hide. When I came back from maternity leave and the Cooperators had a wellness fair, I learned a lot more about mental health from the help that I received from ESEP. My daughter Taylor has mental illness and she suffers from CVS, which is the cyclotomy syndrome, and every day is a struggle for her. Originally, we weren't sure if she was actually going to go to a regular school. We thought she might have to go to a discovery school. Mm -hmm. um, at a small age of one, we realized that she had a lot of concerns. Sensory stuff, touch, um, noises really bother her. And that's where we finally got the support that she needed to start to do regular activities in everyday life. You need to make sure that you self-care for yourself. You know, meditation, exercise, um, those are the things that I do for myself. And I also created a support group for parents um, with other children with anxiety or depression. Well, the cooperators have supported me by, most importantly, being a really caring um, employer. Um, I wouldn't have been able to get the support that Taylor needs. She has all the tools that she needs from receiving benefits that we have at work and seeking therapy and support. I'm often asked why mental health is so important to me and you know really at the end of the day it's a very simple answer. I believe mental health is at the core of our well-being. Come right